elements. Today we will discuss about the fertilization, double fertilization and endosperm. Firstly, we will talk about the fertilization. In the fertilization, the fusion of haploid nucleus of an egg with the first male nuclei which is running within the pollen tube. In this diagram, this is, this is the pollen tube in which two male gametes, first male gamete and second male gamete both are sliding and finally reach to the micropyle. That is the micropyle. And the first, this one, the first male gamete will fuse to egg. Means first male gamete fuses with first with haploid nucleus of an egg resulting diploid structure zygote is formed this process is called as fertilization also called as syngamy and nowadays this is also called as generative fertilization this syngamy or fertilization process was discovered by Strasburger E E A Strasburger in 1884, which was which was um, botany cytologist, uh, and and in the fertilization there are three ways by which pollen tube can enter into the embryo sac or it will enter and reach to an egg. The first method is porogamy means fusion of first male nuclei with an egg through micropyle through micropyle that is the porogamy the second is mesogamy means the fusion of or the entry of pollen tube through intugment this is the intugment so this pollen tube is coming here and it will enter through this enter through this and then fuse to an egg clear this is the mesogamy and and the third one the third one is the chalazogamy means the fusion of pollen tube through this end through antipodal end through antipodal end and it will touch to the egg there is a fact that the development of pollen tube means the passage of pollen tube is controlled by antipodal cells but when but when the entry of pollen tube takes place within the ovary means there are two types of entry base entry gate that is one within the embryo shed and another within ovary the ovary is controlled by obturator cells whereas here in case of embryo shed that, that is the three ways porogamy mesogamy and third is the chalazo gamy means entry of pollen tube through the chalazal end. <clears throat> in the double fertilization, in the double fertilization, here is the two polar nuclei. Two polar nuclei. After the fertilization, the second male gamete, this one, the second male gamete, or this red nuclei second male gamete will enter towards the both polar nuclei as soon as second male gamete come near to the polar nuclei both polar nuclei fuse to form 
a central cell which is binucleate so central cell binucleate this is and this structure is the second main gamete so when it will enter then this structure is the 3m means triploid this structure is triploid and this cell is called as primary endosperm cell and this nucleus is called as primary endosperm nucleus which is 3m in case of angiosperm whereas in case of gymnosperm this structure is haploid means in gymnosperm there is no double fertilization <clears throat> in case of few angiosperms like orchidaceae where double fertilization does not occur dear students this double fertilization was discovered by navaschin in 1889 in case of fritillaria and lilium there is another type of term is used here vegetative fertilization here is the generative fertilization in case of singa generative fertilization here that is the vegetative fertilization and this is called as triple fusion triple fusion triple fusion means the first fusion is here this fusion is the result of this zygote is the result of first fusion that is the fertilization here both polar nuclei fuse to form central cell this is the second fusion and when second main nuclei fuses to diploid or binucleate central cell this is the third fusion that's why this is called as triple fertilization so the development of endosperm is called as triple fusion result and this is triploid and nutritive tissue now we will discuss about the development of endosperm dear students there are three ways of the development of endosperm the first one is the free nuclear and also called as nuclear nuclear endosperm in this case this is this is primary endosperm cell and this one is the primary endosperm nucleus which divides by transverse division transverse division to form two cells four cells and so on means many free nuclei are formed and which are arranged on the periphery of the embryo sac resulting leaving a central vacuole and in this central vacuole that is a that is the some liquid cytoplasmic liquid is available and finally after that means after the formation of hundreds of the free nuclei then cytokinesis cytokinesis takes place means means karyokinesis is not followed by cytokinesis initially and when many free nuclei are formed then cytokinesis is formed and ultimately this central vacuole is disappear and entire cells and entire endosperm looks like cellular endosperm this type of phenomena is found in case of cereals cereals and in other plants but very prominent in cereals the another method means uh, this way, this type of development is also happening in the coconut coconut in coconut these free nuclei are formed as 
uh, as a cellular mass, but in the center, this central vacuole is present, which has a fluid which is called as coconut milk. This coconut milk is very nutritious because it has sugar, vitamins, proteins, and and a very popular cytokinin hormone that is the phytohormones. And this is means uh, the coconut milk. Coconut milk is isotonic solution. Isotonic solution. So it is very very useful for human health and also very uh, useful for the digestive system of human beings. <coughs> and this coconut milk is is used in various purposes. And the cellular mass is called as coconut meat. Means in coconut, initially free nuclear division and then cellular division. The another another method is the cellular endosperm development. In the second cellular endosperm development, just you assume the same in the same diagram. This is the PEC and PEN. Means it will divide, but nuclear division, but nuclear division is followed by cytokinesis. Means it will divide, and then both cells are divided. After that. Four cells are formed, and after that, this will directly comes into here. Means this this step is vanished here. So this is the second method, that is the cellular endosperm development, and finally this endosperm is formed. This is the most common. most common type of development of endosperm the third one is the halobuyer halobuyer type of endosperm this is called as intermediate intermediate type of development type of development intermediate type of development in this case in the men say in in case of halobuyer this cell means this pec cell is divided like this and after that after that few men say after that that is the two cells one is the micropylar end cells micropylar end cells and another is the chelazem this one means chelazem end cell is slightly smaller than this one micropylar end cell this will degenerate after some time and micropylar cell end will divide to form two cells and then four cells and after that it will convert into this step means in case of halobuyer in case of halobuyer from here it will form two cells means firstly karyokinesis is followed by cytokinesis then two cells are formed chelazem end cells will degenerate and this is the bigger slightly bigger in size it will divide to form multicellular endosperm so so this halobuyer is uh, is mainly reported in case of monocot monocot plants and in monocot that is the halobuyers and order in which this 
type of condition is reported. We will discuss about the development of dicot embryo. Dear, we will discuss about the dicot embryo means development of dicot embryo. Look at here. This is an embryo sac. This is an embryo sac. Here jagot is developing and here endosperm is developing. Clear? This jagot will develop as an embryo in case of dicot as well as in case of monocot. So jagot develops as an this hard shaped structure embryo and embryo is enclosed within the seed. <coughs> Dear students, this jagot firstly divides by transverse division to form two cells. In these two cells, this basal cells is called as suspensor cell whereas the lower cells means upper. Here is this one is the upper. This one is the basal. So basal is called as suspensor cell. So upper or terminal cell is called as embryo cells which lies towards the antipodal cell means means through uh, means uh, that is the towards the chalazal end. And this basal cell is projecting towards the micropylar end. Clear? Now, this suspensor cell will develop as, as suspensor, which is approximately 6 to 10 cells. The upper suspensor cell is bigger in size, which is called as hostorium cell and behaves like hostoria. And the meaning of hostorial cell is that it helps in the absorption of nutrition from the endosperm and these suspensor cell helps helps and push this one embryo touch to the endosperm clear these suspensor cells helps to touch endosperm for which purpose to draw the nourishment because the main purpose of endosperm is to supply nourishment to the developing embryo and nothing else. Now, <clears throat> this embryo cell will divide by transverse as well as vertical division, but first two vertical division takes place and then and then a single transverse division takes place resulting quadrate stage of the embryo. Means here four cells, one, two, three, four. Four celled stage. Clear? Now, this upper structure is remain same in condition. Whereas, these four celled stage embryo turned as eight cell, which is called as octant stage. Means only eight cells are here present. Now, in eight cells, that is the outer cells are called as terminal cells and the inner one which is towards the suspensor is called as hypobasal cells. These terminal cells play very important role in the development of in the development of plumule as well as cotyledons whereas these hypobasal cells plays very important role in the development of radicals. Now this structure looks like ball. So this is the globular shape. That's why that's why such embryonal developmental stage is also called as globular developmental stage of embryo. After that these cells will differentiate and forming the outermost cells as a dermatogen cells which forms the upper layer. Below this, that is the bristain cells and after that it will differentiate it into different types of cells and this one is the procambium means 
it will develop as vascular tissues <coughs> and those cells near the suspension which is hypophysis and forming root tip means radical and above the root tip that is the root cap cells this globular structure now distorting and it makes a shape of heart that is the heart shaped embryo and in this heart shaped embryo this projected angular structure is called as hypocotyl means this outer structure and this will elongate by division and forming the two cotyledons and this is the embryonal axis this is an embryonal axis the terminal point is forming plumule and the basal will form cotyledon and this hostorium touches to the endosperm and draws the nourishment so this is the very short and stepwise development of the dicot embryo that's all